we use sports science pretty much every day. We use a lot of biomechanical filming analysis on starts, turns, technique. That's a big part of us. I've tried to think about how we can use more analytical data to try to, to help swimming. It becomes a little bit tough because you're dealing with an aquatic environment, which is something that moves around. There's a lot more variables, is my point. So it's a little bit difficult to bring as much sports science into the aquatic environment as it maybe is in, in dry land activities. The most important bits of data that we get, probably just in terms of how they're executing a race plan, in terms of stroke rates, kicks off walls, that sort of pacing type stuff. Are they learning from, I don't want to say their mistakes, but are they learning from previous efforts or previous competitions to start to improve and understand how they can evolve, evolve as an athlete? So probably less so the overall time and more the way that the swim is, is put together. The best way that the young people of today seem to learn is, is, is very visual. And so we use TV and video feedback quite regularly in the swim sessions. So whether that be them executing a start or a turn or some sort of technique and then immediately watching it on you know, a big screen TV on the pool side, showing them visually what they're, what they're doing. And if they're not one of the best in the world, showing them what the best in the world are doing and how they do it and then immediately getting them to try to uh, execute the same level of skill. Particularly for me, the, probably the biggest area we try to, to use sports science in is the aspect of recovery. We can all train hard, we can all push on. Well now, us trying to make the most of recovery opportunities in a legal way, um, I think is the, is the real big opportunity for us in, in the future.